Hi friends, Chris and Trish here. Glad to have you with us for a little five minute church uh, house of fire here in our kitchen. And Trisha today is a prop. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> well, you got this shirt that you designed. Tell us about it. Oh, yes, yes I can. Yes. Oh, yes, I can. Philippians 4.13. We can do all things through Christ. We chose it. that as our theme, Oh, Yes, We Can. Yes. Because we got married on April 13th, which right. is a 413. Our anniversary is right around the corner. Right. But uh, this is available now. How do they get it? Right. I think everybody wants it. This is Q <laughs> Christian QVC. You need to order something and keep us going. Yeah. Uh, these are uh, polyester cotton. Um, they're um, three-quarter length sleeve. You can go to chrisjackson.org and order them there. Amen. You got four sizes on that. Yes, okay, amen. we're in Matthew chapter 24. We're relating with Revelation. We've already looked at the white horse, mass deception, mm -hmm. then the red horse, mass destruction, mm -hmm. and then will come mass defection. Before we get to that, let's kind of walk through here on Matthew chapter 24. Mm -hmm. You got an Amplified version there. I want you to share something in a minute from Amplified, mm -hmm. but uh, give us verse, uh, verse 7 again, if you would, Trish. Okay. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. Okay, with famines, you know, what we're going through right now with the coronavirus and everybody on lockdown, we're getting by in America. We're stocked up here in our house. We're doing okay. But I can't imagine what it's like in some of the third world countries and backward places where there's not government bailouts and so forth. So we're living in that time of, of famines. Now, we don't believe we're in the tribulation period because we believe Jesus comes back for us. But these are things and warnings that prepare us for what is going to come up to pass. Mm -hmm. So if we're having a foretaste of famine right now, it will only worsen with time. Famines and pestilences and earthquakes and various places. Right. Now, King James says divers places. Right. One lady one time said that I know Jesus is about to come again because uh, it says earthquakes in divers places, and we saw it on the news. Well, what happened, uh, the epicenter of the earthquake was off the coast of Italy out in the ocean, and so she thought divers places. That's kind of corny, isn't it? No, diverse places, various places. You know, right now there's earthquakes going on in Georgia. There's places that we never heard of. The earthquakes in Oklahoma may be attributed to fracking, but everything else, right now Yellowstone's a powder keg and, and uh, the Pacific Rim and so forth. Seven of the 10 worst earthquakes we've ever had in history have happened in this century, since year 2000. So these things are starting to escalate. We, we, we heard about the tsunami, uh, that the Indian Ocean tsunami that took uh, 250 to 300,000 lives. The Haitian earthquake uh, that took, we're counting now, up to 200,000 lives. And uh, volcanic uh, seismic activity. In fact, uh, it says... And this, the Greek word here is seismos. And Paul said that the whole creation groans and travails together in pain until now. You're not only feeling it here on the physical realm, the powers of heaven are shaken in the spiritual realm, but even in the geo form, the earthly uh, realm, uh, the, whole, the whole creation is having birth pangs. Now, read verse 8, if you would, and we'll talk about birth pangs for a second. Okay. Uh, verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Sorrows in the Bible is dealing with a woman's sorrows, travail or labor pains. So all of these are early labor pains. And uh, it's, it, just as a woman's labor pains go and they, the contractions start getting closer and closer together. What he's saying, these signs, if it's, if it's wars and rumors of wars, famines, pestilences, when these things start lapping on top of each other and we see more and more of it, Every day, the news compounds. These are the birth pangs of what is about to come. And uh, look that up in Amplified. Okay. You like that translation because that's what Joyce Meyer uses. Oh, I will. Give, like give us verse 8. Okay. Uh, all this is but the beginning, the early pains of the birth pangs of the intolerable anguish. Okay, these are the beginning birth pangs. And whenever there's birth pangs, then something's about to be birthed. And somebody says, well, the Antichrist is about to be birthed. Global government is about to be birthed. That's true. But really, it's talking about uh, 
whenever there's birth, there's joy that a man child is born. So this isn't the birthing of, of the tribulation period and just the birthing of Antichrist. This is the birthing of God summing up everything in this dispensation because Jesus Christ is coming back to earth again. And that is what the birth pangs are really signaling, that we're getting closer to the coming of Christ. So I hope this encourages you. I hope you're enjoying these messages and be sure to write and comment. Right. Say goodbye to these beautiful people. People. I wish we could see them like yeah. they could see us. Yeah. Be sure and comment so we know who you are and uh, how this has blessed you. We love you. God bless you. See you tomorrow.